All right, we're in round three. We have a choice again. Playing first. Waiting for me to respond. Oh, let's see. Yeah, this is a great hand. Keeping that. The Xenagos is a bit awkward, but no biggie. A lot of black decks. People love to play black. Mr. Oh, black white. Interesting. And no plays. Well, we get a nice little upkeep starfish. Trumper. Well, we don't have the lands to play it, so I think I'm going to bottom it. Let's draw here. Uh, well, we got the lands now. Uh, we don't need to reveal the forest yet. So I think we'll just play island and pass, leaving up nullify. Oh. I adore countering that. All right, let's upkeep, do our starfish again. Now we're just on the hunt for something to play. Leaf crown into leaf crown? I mean, I guess. I guess we could just double bestow the starfish. Seems awkward. I'd rather use him as a scry. Let's just play one. Interesting. Scry upkeep. Oh, cart. There you go. Leaving that on top. A little bit awkward since I used the thing, but I was going to scry with it anyway. It's actually fine. Yep. Just yield it. And we'll pass. Next turn, I get to strike in for five if I bestow my oak heart dryad. Sky Spear Calvary. That guy's good. Uh, but we're still fine. Now we're actually on the hunt for lands. Yep, let's leave that on top. We want to get to Eternity Snare Mana. Because once he starts bestowing that guy, we could be in a world of pain. So go ahead and get in for five. Play a land and pass. So definitely going to want a land for next turn. Hopefully our starfish can help us with that. Hopefully he just bestows, get it out of the way, we get our land, and then we don't have to deal with the Sky Spear guy anymore. Sageful Harpy. Okay. That's still manageable. Let's go ahead and scry here again. Land, yeah, let's leave it on top. Um, if I get in for five again, we're still... Basically, we're out racing the Insatiable Harpy, so... We'll pre-combat the Eternity Snare so we get to draw and pump our dude. Pump, yield, draw, astronomer. All right, let's get in for five. What are we netting? Three damage. If he cracks back with the harpy. Oh wow! All right. I guess that's not the end of the world. Still get to block the harpy. And 
pretty clearly have to block it. That's not a race I can win. Oh, excellent combat trick on my opponent's part. All right. Well, now we're on a hunt. Oh, no. More plays. That's not good for me. Uh, can I afford to use this? Yeah. Battlemaster. I mean... Also, another thing, I don't know how to quickly look at what my deck is. That was a lot easier in the old client as well. Or maybe not easier, but more readily apparent how to do it. Well, geez, what do I do now? Battlemaster. Guess so. He can potentially take the game over. If I get something spicy. Maybe like a retraction helix or a time to feed. Wait, what happened? So now I'm on the hunt for time to feed retraction helix. Because the coinsmith is going to clean up on us pretty good. Um, he does have the mana too. Impressive. Alright. Let's do this starfish hunt for something here. Don't need that. Hmm. Guess we'll swing with the battlemaster so he can't coinsmith us. And we'll drop Astronomer and pass. It's still kind of bad for us, I guess, because of that coin smith and the fortifier can get in. But he's not doing it. All right, let's see here. Can we find it? Oracle's Insight. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think we gotta leave it on top. So let's draw it. Let's play it on our astronomer, because at this point I think we're just on the hunt. I mean we could do it on Battlemaster, but it's not gonna change this fortifier. We just really need to come up with a but this isn't gonna find us time to feed either. Let's just do it. I can't look at my deck, or I don't know how, so let's just trigger his ability. Let's take a crew fix, I guess. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, there goes our mountain to the bottom of our deck, so we're going to need one of our fonts to make that work. Guess we swing. Now we have to pass. I kind of need the astronomer as a blocker. So kind of on the hunt for a time to feed currently. Worshippers, no. Oh, that works too, I guess. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Guess we untap. Scry. Bottom. Scry draw. Let's find that time to feed. Not quite. Oh. Well, that definitely works. Alright, let's swing with the Battlemaster. I guess I'm glad he's devoting his resources to that. But this is still getting pretty, getting further away from winning here. Um, oh wait, I can't retraction Elix. Well, that was a mistake. Well, I guess to be fair, it was a tough spot either way. Because if I hadn't attacked the Battlemaster, he would have been able to use it three times. Uh, I think it was still a mistake. That's okay. My bad. Um, wait, are we stopping on... Yeah, we stop on his combat. So I kind of have to so I don't die now. Just have to use Helix on the Triton. Unfortunately, can't even use the ability, but we're going to tap the Harpy down. He should have just attacked, but... He's not. So I guess we're dead. Should have scribed first, I guess. And then done that. I guess we're dead. All right, I guess we got to go to game two here. Hope I can do a little bit better. Uh, playing against white, black. Um, what's his butt? Where is he? Desecration plague. It's gonna be really good, I think. What are what is everything? Is there any way I can just go ahead and see what's going on here? Is that not even the right? Opponent or okay, Underworld Coinsmith. We saw Satiable Harpy. We saw another flyer. We really didn't see that much beyond the Coinsmith. Four enchantments. I don't think so. Actually, I don't know if Desecration Plague is all that good. Um, he has flyers, so actually Cloaked Siren might be better. But Cloaked Siren's certainly not good against his Double Striker. But I think I'm just going to trade it for a, uh, a tromper. Um, just in case he's got a harpy I can't deal with like the last game. Wish I could have sideboarded Gainsay somewhere. 
All right, let's try this again. Yes, I would like to play first. Um, no blue source, couple greens. Eh, we're gonna keep it. Not a very good hand, but playable. If it had been Forest Island, it would have been a pretty awesome hand. All right, Death Toucher it is. Uh, ooh, it's a little bit awkward. Uh, that's okay. So we could skip a play this... Yeah, I think we skip the play this turn. Because then next turn I get to do Agent, and then if I draw a land sometime in between there, I can, I can uh, bestow it. Which I can't imagine being all that bad. There we go. Let's get Mr. Agent out there. Then next turn I can actually do Ari Worshippers, which is pretty good too. Yes. Three drop. Alcyids. All right. That card I'm willing to trade for my agent. I've got. I've got a pretty good plan going on right now. Currently, I think. So, I mean, I could also Leaf Crown, could also Nullify. Nullify seems pretty good. Let's see if he trades. If he trades, I think I just want to play Leaf Crown and leave up Nullify. If he doesn't trade, probably just want to play Worshippers. All right. Now we're going to do the Worshippers then. They spit out flyers, so they seem useful at this juncture. Gives double strike. Alright. Is going to leave back the Farike is chosen. It's going to get in for four. Which is pretty good. Uh, let's see here. He's got Boon Mana up. Alright, I think we just play Island, make Dude unblockable. Get in for three and pass, leaving up nullify. Hmm. Well, I'm going to tap out next turn anyway. Let's just get it off the board, I guess. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, let's just go for the bestow. Can't really swing with Agent here.
All right. You got us. All right. So, yeah, going to make a bird. Draw. Let's get him for three. And we'll bestow our bird. Clearly, I have to block. Boon. Uh huh. Inspired. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I think we actually just get in for five here. Uh, might seem risky, but we've got the cocktrice, um, which makes the play a little bit better in my mind, because it's out of nowhere, and this is going to make him want to kill the bird. Even if he sips, we're going to be okay. All right, so we'll flash in, dude. Um, block here, and yeah, let's just block here, just in case. All right, got game two. He does have enchantments, so Desecration Plague is looking a little bit better. It's an actual removal spell. Hmm. Now, honestly, the Scorpion's not even looking that bad. Hmm. Definitely don't want him to get a good jump on us. Not exactly sure what to cut. Kind of like how we're geared. A wee bit slow, but got so many good things going on early. I mean, he does too, which is kind of the fear. I'd like to bring the Scorpion in. What do I cut for it? Maybe the Battlemaster, too slow? Got enough ways to win, but God, I love that devotion. That's my main issue. Really hung up on that devotion. But we already have enough late game stuff going on. All right, let's cut the Battlemaster for a Scorpion. He's got some good early utility stuff. I mean, I guess I could just... Bring in the, what's his butt? The uh, Desecration Plague. Especially if he does that Nyx stuff on his guy. I mean, we know about the Coinsmith, we know about the Armament, and we know about the Observant Alcyids. I mean, just in general, Black White has a ton of good ones. Alright, let's do it like this.
And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Keeping it. Oh, wow. All right. Well, could be in six drop territory reasonably fast. No two drop from our opponent. That's good news. Oh, crew fix. We already have our mountain. Guess we pass. No plays. Very good sign. Let's get an island. One tap. Leaf crown. All right, let's play our forest. Let's play. Font. Could play Dryad here as well. But do I even want to set up for a crew fix next turn? It doesn't do anything. But it were actually I think I do. If we draw a land after I crack this uh font, we're actually looking really good. Because then we got we're in Ferris Band Raiders territory. He's gotta have an asphyxiate though, so I might Ooh, it's pretty spicy. Well, I'm glad I brought that Desecration play again. Let's see if we can find it. All right, let's get our second blue source. Time to feed. Hmm. Oops. Let's just play the leaf crown. That's pretty good. I think we're going to probably have to time to feed that. Getting punished pretty harshly here. Uh, let's see. I think that we... Let's bestow... So I can block everything. And then hopefully he doesn't have anything, and then I can... Time to feed. Oh, wow. Double strikers are good. All right, so we're going to take eight. Jeez. That was harsh. Um, take some more damage. No choice, really. I think we have to. Guess we attack first. Gain a little bit of life. Jeez. I feel like I can't do anything. All right. 
Well, I guess that is game. Kind of have to block here. Let's just concede. Don't have it. All right. Well, pretty bad performance overall, but I uh, got a crew fix out of Xenagos. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, I'll have the old client working again someday, but uh, until then, I, I guess you're going to have to endure the uh, beta. All right. I'll see you for the next draft.